Good evening and welcome to the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting for October 16th, 2019 at 4.30 p.m. We have a little abbreviated meeting today to take care of some business that we didn't want to wait two weeks for. Um, <clears throat> so I call the meeting to order. I just, um, I've got to skip over the minutes until Carolyn gets here. Um, we do want to remind you that we have one more uh, flu clinic Saturday, October 26th at 10 a.m. to 2 p.m here at the town offices uh, in Deerfield Town Hall. Um, our discussion item for this evening at 4.30 is the fuel storage dishes in, for uh, 198 Mill Village Road. Um, uh, Chris Chamberlain's here, the consultant for Berkshire Design Group. We heard this, um, this uh, we had a hearing last week on it and we said that we wouldn't wait two weeks. We'd come in a little early to try and make a decision on this and um, Carol is here. So come on up, how are you? So, appreciate the opportunity to have a special meeting to uh, finish this off. Thank you. <clears throat> and then uh, I also saw the um, instructions from, uh, the, I guess, the correspondence between Chief um, Melnick and, and, and you all about kind of the items that you were had agreed to kind of put into process there yes. for security and all. And we'd, we'd like to kind of add those to our, our decision as well. And I think Diane is gonna maybe attach that to our, um, to our decision tonight, depending on the vote. Um, so welcome, how are you? Hey, sorry. That's okay. No I got here no as fast as I could. That's a pity dinner winning, so we're <laughs> cruising along. So um, <clears throat> I just, if, I guess I'd open it back up to questions. Does anyone else have any other questions? Um, thought about this this week? Um, I, I, I actually had, have had no phone calls. No so. one's brought it up to you at all? No. Well, we've been um, discussing it with Diana and kind of talking this over, and I, I feel comfortable to make a decision and could take a vote. So um, do you have any other questions? No. Um, I think we've got this pretty well covered. Uh, yep. Kind of reviewed things. Um, uh, Chief Menlik is, you know, comfortable with things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's the primary uh, right. first response. So the, uh, and everything else seems to be in order, so. And I was happy with the, you know, you would He's be. He's actually a neighbor almost, so. He is, yes, <laughs> so, so. very close. Um, and and I, I just want to add too, so I, the chief just wanted to, so he um, has, you know, said that mm -hmm. you have the information, pretty much everything that had been identified as concerns and had been discussed um, with the applicant. He wanted just to mention and, and reiterate to you that he intends to do, um, you know, at his discretion, but he at, at least initially intends to do annual training, um, intermunicipal training, so Needs other departments are also familiar with what's what's going on and yeah, what's, what's there. there. So, and he'll do that annually and then probably, you know, by, by yearly after that. Okay. But initially, annually to get everyone up to speed. Okay. Um, the one thing I wanted to add to our decision, um, assuming it's a positive decision, is that you would register as a Tier 1 hazmat response right away with um, the Regional Emergency Preparedness uh, Committee. Sure, that seems reasonable. Yeah. Great. That sounds good. Um, and I, I was happy with the, you know, the safety issues of having... Um, you know, having the cooling sprays on, on the tanks and or, orienting them a, a certain way, so... Um, and after, you know, I, I was always concerned about the amount, you know, you hear 60,000 gallons and now I understand can only use a certain percentage of that at the time. And um, <clears throat> so it makes sense to me, so. Um, and can I just also, just yeah. for the process, I just wanted, because I wanted to clarify today with Darren uh, the process. So, and um, Chris had asked Pat questions about the registration and certification right. or annual. So uh, how we understand it is you, you give a license. So once you, with the um, recommendations of the chief and, mm -hmm. and they usually, the chief normally signs off, you do the license one time and then annual, then, then the applicant will take that license and go to the fire State. department yep. and, and um, register basically. They get a registration um, the, with the fire department and then an, that that puts them on the list for the fire department and annually there's a certification okay. that gets done by it. So they're annually reviewing 
this. Right. They don't issue a license, they issue a certification. Okay. But it, once it's registered with them, then they yep. look at it annually or, um, right. you know, if there's change, you know, if there was, yeah. They, I think they you look mentioned you it. take it to the state fire marshal after. Um, that's kind of part of it. Correct. Of yeah, actually, yes. we have to submit both the license and that registration as part of our application to the state fire marshal, okay. um, which also includes detailed design information, uh, fire safety analysis, uh, several other things. Great. Yeah, and, and Darren also said that the state fire marshal will be involved in that annual certification as well right. because of the, um, more comfortable you know, the about that. amount of it. Good. It's, it's Dan Nietzsche up at the FERCOG, the Franklin Regional Council of Governments, is who you contact for the Tier 1 registration. Okay. okay. So I'd entertain a motion. I'll make that motion. Mm -hmm. I'll and second it. Any further discussion? So, um, all those in favor to approve the propane tank application? Aye. 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 Thank you. And I think I just want to be clear. So we're going to incorporate the dis, you know the discussion points or the the conditions that the chief has set into right. that decision. So it's with those conditions, and That's then the, the few one. things we just spoke of. And the so and the tier one. The tier one yep. and, yep. the, yep. and the um, yeah. Yep. Okay. Good. I just want to make sure it gets on the list because what happens is then it's incorporated in the response cards at our dispatch right um, yeah and I, I would say that you know we're going to be processing this application simultaneously to that we're going to be working on these conditions and uh, the local fire department is certainly involved in the inspection and final sign off on the tank so we'll, we need to have all of these conditions satisfied right. um, at that point okay so Very good. I will um do you want me to sign this last page? Um, yes, and then, actually. Do you, want to, do you want to put the other stuff on it? Why don't I do that? And then we'll bring it And then I'll put it together. Yeah, so that just, yeah just give us a, a yep. you know, little time. We'll get that signed up. And, yep. All right. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Great, thank yeah. you. Please reach out if you need any help or anything else. We certainly will. Um, I mentioned the flu clinic already, so we're done with that. Um, okay. We're signing our warrants. And... We have, we have a little bit of time. Do you want to uh, just go over where we're at with the administrative and land use inspections, office staffing, and hiring plan for the select board office staffing? Sure. That was, I think, where we were at. Do you want to, I, do you guys I, want to speak to that? Do you want to talk to a little bit about making, I mean, I'd like to make some recommendations based on the activities we've had this past week. The, um, yeah, um, well, Diana and I spoke earlier this week about this. And, okay. uh, our primary candidate, is looking for a little bit more than our budget allows. Mm -hmm. That's quite a bit more than our budget allows. So um, for that position. For that position. Okay. Um, um, <laughs> proverbial case. Thank you, guys. Take care. Um, you know, you. Uh, very qualified individual. Uh, yeah. Well, Diana did a, a lot of background check on it, and it seems like she's a very capable individual as well. Mm. Um, but, um, you know, the decision is whether we go with the, our, the second candidate that we wanted to look at Hi. or if we. Hi. So, so I guess I, I've spoken to, I spoke to David and I spoke to, um, to Barb and Bob just to, because I didn't sit in on the interviews, but I did do the reference checks. Yeah. And as, as David said, I was quite impressed with the references of our top candidate for this position in that, um, you know, they were basically folks that, that had been trained by this person mm -hmm. that she had been, um, you know, that had a job above this person, but they had, they, she had done the training. So I guess in light of all of that and what the experience was and what sort of the ask and her capabilities are on terms of the, you know, salary and where she was at in her previous employment, I, I would consider uh, or like to consider giving her the assistant TA job okay. and giving, you know, around the, the mid-range or, you know, have discussion with you about that. That's mm -hmm. more competitive. And then we have another candidate that could come in for the sort of clerical support also, I think, mm -hmm. has good references and, um, and could be trained by this very person that we would put in. So I think it's like kind of a twofer. Um, I feel to lose either one of them would mm -hmm. be unfortunate, could, could but opportunities if you could work out where they would sit. Yeah, 
Another, you know, it's kind of a being nimble again. We've mm -hmm. done this a couple times, right. and, no, and I'm asking you to, you to kind nowadays. of consider it again because we are, um, I think we could move rapidly through some of our uh, challenges that we have with mm -hmm. gaps right. um, and get right back on track. There's a willingness of both of the individuals to do exactly what we need in terms of attending evening mm -hmm. meetings, um, you know, doing, doing the kind of support we need in, in different areas that we haven't had some folks that were mm -hmm. interested so I think there's an opportunity to do that but I don't um, you know I, and yeah, yeah. Do, do, do we feel like we'd, we'd want to interview at all and or I'm you've I guess interviewed. I, You're, I, I, I feel well <laughs> my feeling is you know I think she is you know from what I can see a fairly strong candidate to be the assistant administrator mm -hmm. But I think we should go ahead and advertise the position mm -hmm. yeah, and do I'd like interviews to see, yeah. before. That way the three of us are interviewing these the yeah. individuals and, and the four of us. And that um, that way, you know, just in see case. See if there's anybody else. See if but, there's anybody uh, else. And, you know, I recommend that we do it fairly quickly. Right, because I don't she want to is, lose that. She is a pretty good asset. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, well, can we, can we put out um, the town administrator job, too? Because if we're looking at it, we want compliment. Mm -hmm. We want the complement and the, and the cohesion. So, can we post then? So, so, so we have to repost the assistant administrator, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have to. Um, so, are you thinking on the town administrator? You're just going to stick an ad in again, or I yeah, we were just an add out? No, I know we were thinking of going to the search firm, and I, you know, if we have to, we're going to have to do that. You just want but, to try one more time. But I want with... one more time to put this out, and I want to see who we get and, and, and see what the match is. Because... But I'm really nervous about doing that because we're, you know, I feel like we really need a good process for that position, and I, I don't want I do, to just put I, an ad in the paper and see who walks in the door. I well, want it to be a better... Put it on the MMA website as well, won't you? Yeah, but it will go on the... No. Yes, we can. we could just do it on the MMA website, and then we can make a decision next within the next month of doing the search firm or not. But I, I, I feel like we need to put this out again. I agree with that, but I'm just wondering how, uh, my concern is just putting it out. Um, the timing of it. Can without having um, a real like committee set up and process and, and a company to do this thing and, and to do yeah, it, I we thought we were gonna see, do yeah. this right. Because yeah, we are. Because my worry, and I agree, I don't, I'm not against yeah. doing this, but my biggest concern is that I want to put our best foot forward when we do this and not just like hang the shingle and see who rolls in and then and then have our name out there. I just wanted to be professional when it went out and we had somebody to actually run the whole process can, instead of And can I, I, know, I can I done. I'd like to speak to it because I I do feel that that I think the timing, I understand what Carolyn's saying, but I think... Wanna, it, I, I get you want to get I feel the timing of trying to advertise, if you were going to do what I had just suggested and go ahead, you know, and, and, and put somebody in, and I understand you're not wanting to do that, and what David said, that's completely legitimate, but if you're going to do that, I think to also be putting the town administrator out at the same time you're putting the assistant out, it become it, it yeah but we've already gone through two, three assistants confuse I know I, but I, I think I we can't do this again we have we just I, I feel I like agree. we got to do it put it out there see what happens right but see I feel like we happens. need to build stability with the yes. assistant job and then by we, putting right. them both out we're just kind of like we've had three <sighs> quitters it's, already this is we've had, so, we've but posted how does this that job. Tie my to fear is out that we're going to get another then, one if we that, do it this way. Right. I, That's no, my I biggest fear. No, I don't think so. If we have an opportunity, let's just try it because but what we've, we've been, been doing. Trying it. This yes. is what we've been doing for four years. We've been going, stick it out there. A few people get together. Oh, we don't get much. Let's just do it right. Like get the, a real firm well, in to I'm, do it right. I, I feel like we've got to post both of them right now. And then if if this person is really good for the assistant, then okay. But we have to look like we're moving on the town administrator. I agree. Well, why don't we hire the t the firm and let them do it? Right. Well, then we can make that decision in the next couple of weeks. But we should still put out there that we want the town administrator so that 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 we can assure the assistant town administrator that we are moving forward with the with the t town administrator job. I'd because we've had three qu 
qualified people quit. And I think it's because of the. W I know. I know. I'm I, very no, concerned we've, about we've putting had that two. Forward. I'm not sure where this third person. I don't know well, we had we had um, that guy come. You two. know that um, younger Ooh. guy from um, the mm -hmm. um, Connor. Yep. yep. Connor and Mike. Connor and Mike. Mike, and um, two. Oh, well, maybe we had two. All right. So, but we it seemed like we had three. I well, just, we had we had the other one, lady. Shouldn't from we be doing this town administrator? Like the whole problem is, is that we haven't put the effort in, and we've we, we hasn't been successful just putting a name out there. My concern is that taints us for when we go to do it correctly. No, because we 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 are making a decision to move forward with the search committee at some point within the next few weeks. But if we put the job description out there, then we have the possibility of attracting somebody as we move forward. And, you know, I just think... What do you... Because, mo you know, all we're going to do is steal somebody from some, somewhere else. And Could so we... we might be able to steal somebody in the immediate term without having to hire a search committee. I, I, you know, Can we it's check just, on that process first before we just commit to doing that? I just feel like it might be hasty. What is there more to check? Uh, that it's the, pro the process isn't correct. That's my fear. I well, mean, I get when you just want to hang a shingle, but I, I'm I, very concerned about that we be, keep tripping up <clears> on <throat> this and I want to do it right to begin with, um, wow. to the start. Like, what, what are you going to get by hanging a shingle out if you don't have a process to interview, you don't have a calendar set up, you don't have anything done? You've done no groundwork ahead of time. We we can we have John Chork was the no, contact was no, the person before no. he took the applications. So gotcha. Can take them it's again. Not, no, we need a real person to do this. A firm that this is what we said we were going to do. I know. So why are we jumping the gun now? Because okay, you're the one that okay. wanted to fire, uh, hire the assistant town administrator. I think they have to go together. That's my thing. We have to go together on these. I, my I feeling is if we're going to advertise, we'll advertise for both. We'll contact Lisa about the headhunter, but at least start the advertisement process. Uh, I just you know, don't want because to the, not do the it last separately. time we only got four candidates, and that was going through everything, the proper channels, everything. Um, you know, I, I just don't want to do it separately anymore. It has to be the two people have to be able to work together, and and, and, and we have to have harmony. I want harmony and communication, and so. You know, I, I don't want to hire an assistant and then have that assistant be here and then have another person come in. And then we have, you know, what if they don't get along? I mean, that's my problem. I don't think you never hire both at the same time. I don't see why not. Sense. I don't see why not because we, we've not been able to hire them separately. So, so you want do the firm to hire both? No, I want, well, if we have this good person, Maybe we can get another person at the same time and they'll work together. I don't know. I'm confused. I'll, I'll let you guys run that then because I'm completely confused. I thought we were looking for assistant town administrator. We were going to hire a firm to do our town administrator. Yes, but the two, they need to be able to work together. And that's why I want to make sure they're advertised together. And, and maybe we'll get and two people the hiring together. The, okay, through the firm, you know, you know we'll have to get money from the finance committee to do mm -hmm. that. Yes. So that yep. delays it out even further. So, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, let's just get it out there that, you go know, ahead. let's advertise it. You know, I'm not saying, you know, Diana can apply for it and go, we'll go through the interview process. Um, you know, she has not, well, she's had a little interaction with Jennifer, our primary candidate for the assistant right at, now, at the moment. Mm -hmm. But which, we've got to just make sure things mesh and we things do. mesh well. And, and, and that and they complement each other. They so, have to you know, I don't see any harm in advertising right now. I, I don't either. Uh, put it on the, the MMA website. You know, we can advertise locally um, and just see what's, see if we get any other candidates than the ones, the ones we had before. You know, the, um, you know who was uh, the other candidate went to, where, Southbridge or somewhere that we had? In the search. In the search. And then there was one that you just said wouldn't be compatible. From right. So, right. So, um, you so know, I we guess only had the four only thing I would say then I would need to have I want to have a final job description that there's consensus on because I don't know that I have that um, for the town administrator. I'm not talking about the assistant because I didn't I don't have a town administrator. I wasn't involved in set, in determining what that job description looked like. So 
I don't. I need to have that, and what the salary would be, or, well, or at least something. Well, that should be in place because we we, we just, just we went just advertise for it. That should be out there already. Mm -hmm. There okay. shouldn't be. Are you happy with that? that? Okay, I guess I just I, want to be sure. I guess it, I'm happy with it if <laughs> if it fits with the assistant administrator. That that was my thing. Why I wanted them both together because you know the changes to the assistant, and then you're talking about changing this person. I, it's okay as long as we have a complementary person to go with them. I mean, I, don't, I think it, it, we just need to have the skill sets to be... I, I agree with all of that. My concern is that we're jumping the gun and we're not... We wouldn't be taking the advice of the, of the firm that we would be spending a lot of money on. I want them to look at all that stuff and do all the work themselves so that we get it correct, we get it advertised. I don't... I mean, I... We could advertise. I don't, how long does it take to get a firm to do this? I mean, I'm not talking months here, but I think it's just kind of weird that you don't hire two people at the same time. If they, you know, just because, like, how would you know that they work together? Well, I, I don't know. I'm confused about that whole process. But I, I you got, you could do what do what you want to do. I thought we were just going to hire a firm and get get this done correctly. I'm nervous about. I mean, maybe there isn't a problem with advertising the position. No, I just I wanted to so. ask that question of the firm. Does it make sense that we've already advertised it before we've even given you, we don't have a schedule set up, a time frame, or anything, any groundwork laid out before we're advertising it? I just wanted the groundwork because I'm sick and tired of having it not correct. It's always jumbled and it hasn't been done right. And yeah, I, but the, I, I mean, just the person done you just, correctly. we were just finishing reviewing the assistant town administrator job description. We haven't even posted it and you've already got someone for it. I don't so, have anybody. No, I got I'm nobody. Just, I'm just saying that this woman could possibly fill it. Um, but, you know, here again, I, I, you'd want to interview for it. We want, you know, the three of us to interview for it. Plus, I also want to see if there's any other candidates. I agree we, with that for that. Um, and I just felt at the same time, which just put it out there that an advertisement for the town administrator, see if there's anything out there that wasn't there when we advertised before and only got the four names. So, well, I guess we got, eight, we got eight names. You. I'm fine. I just don't want to jeopardize the process of the town administrator. I, I, I'm I very concerned that we will. I don't, doing I don't that. think so. Mm -hmm. Because how I long mean, did you advertise for before? Do you remember? 30 days? I was for the town administrator? Yeah. I didn't have, I wasn't involved in it. That okay. was handled yeah. by the committee. I and think by it the, was by um, the, board, the elected board. 30 days and then we stretched it like a couple weeks longer. But I, do, I will tell you that as an applicant, you know, the process was, was less than consistent. Right. I mean, I had one person reach out to me originally for my initial, you know, the initial um, contact. Then, then John talked to me. Then Trevor talked to me. Then, yeah. you know, so there was really no, the person that was supposed to be the chair of the, com, you know, running the thing wasn't the consistent person that, like, followed with the process. So I don't know if that's how the other applicants, you know, had what their experience was. But... I well, think we need to be just, clear on what the process committee. is when we receive Calendar, the applications. Absolutely. We need to say when the deadline. But you that's know, why who's I think be... we need to take it back. We tried to have a real search committee, and we just need to take it back as selectmen. Nope, I'm not interested. I well, you guys can do that. I'm not interested. I want to hire a committee to do this. I'm sick and tired of wasting time on this. We need a professional to do the job. That was obviously what came out of last one. It's too jumbled. There's no way that we're going to three part-time people are going to do this. It needs to be a, a professional search. But that's my two cents. I'll leave it there. Okay, so anything else? Um, do you want to vote for anything? Or I don't think no, we need to I vote for anything. I think right? I so have the direction, do we basically. Do we need to vote to advertise? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, if you I, I guess I would make a motion I, to advertise question. both, <laughs> as, as is with corrections to the yeah. assistant. And I'll second that. Any further discussion? No? No. I, I mean, except that we need to move ahead. And, you know, clearly we should follow up with Lisa on the, um, her recommendations in the next couple Just, of meetings. We can let her know that we've started advertising and these, um, you know, if we decide to go you know, get money from the Finance Committee, we can. Um, Ever go to the headhunter 
uh, we can let them know the, the names of the applicants. Yeah. But instead of that, that delaying and then they get involved, then they advertise and start going out. It just, you know, it, you add another month and a half, two months to it. Right. So, and then that's the wrong time. Oh. I mean, that's right in the middle of, you know, you start the budget season. So, so I abstain. I'll abstain from this. Okay. okay. I vote yes. I vote yes. Okay. All righty. Any other items we want to talk about? Um, I just want to say um, thank you so much to um, Brian Ravish with the, um, he had little, he got shirts it's for the great. high school kids. It was Explain wonderful. Did you ex oh, yeah. I haven't, I haven't, there, I haven't there, saw it online. Uh, but. They're nice, really nice t-shirts that are, you know, the wicking material mm -hmm. and they have the hawks on their and the Deerfield Police. And Deerfield Police, and then Frontier down the front, and then it says Red Hawks do not vape. It's awesome. And so it was really great. And yeah. the, and and um, the governor is getting a letter from the police department saying that they support his stance. That's awesome. So actually, what I wanted to do was, hopefully, we could just adopt our vaping um, regulations that we've been working on since April and mm -hmm. waiting for, um, since the governor has the um, you know, at least four month, um, you know, moratorium on the vaping products. That I get, I think we could just adopt our vaping regulations with with all with all the flavors included. Because um, remember, we were waiting, right, we were waiting to see what the um, court cases were. But I think there's so much. Uh, this has changed completely since the summer. So, I um, I was wondering if we could schedule next. Mm -hmm. week to adopt our drape, our uh, vaping regulations and then we could write the governor as well and tell him that thank you and we have now made the decision to adopt no flavors. Have allowed. we got time on the 23rd for that? Diana? Um, we may have time okay. but in terms of the publication I think you have to publish Right. Those, okay so we'll check either yeah. that or the following. We'll yeah. Just get it in the works? Okay. Yeah because mm -hmm. we've been sitting on them since April so. Yep. When we've um, been waiting on they're that, all so. they're all ready to go. Okay. All right. Good. Um, so the, our next meeting is is the twenty third, um, which we'll have a couple things on the agenda, but will be our, our sewer rate setting hearing um, mm -hmm. and select board meeting. Yeah. Can we talk about the sewer rate setting sure. hearing for a second? So, yep. I'd like to. Um, <clears throat> there's been a lot of discussion about different. Um, ways of, of financing, you know, the projects that are in front of you in terms of the, um, you know, distribution of who pays what and whether it's users and non-users or, you know, for how we allocate it to uh, businesses, how we do the abatements, how we do the units, how we do, are we doing it on usage, are we doing it on, uh, you know, we've I, since I've been here, I've had numerous constituents, you know, that have questioned some of the things, the way we've done them, some of the costs, the the hookup fees, the per bedroom cost of eleven hundred dollars. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard. That's way above what most communities are charging. Mm -hmm. nope. And the, re, you know, some research that we've done. So just to get a sense of, you know, you know, maybe that's those all have been, you know, yeah. aired in terms of that. Mm -hmm. But, but. To do that at your sewer rate hearing, I guess, is like, um, are you, I, I just want the board to answer the questions, are you, are you going to look at any of those things or not? And you can say no, but those questions keep coming up and you're not, you, not like answering them or sort of facing them and, and saying, you know. You mean if we're going to do EDUs or not? Yeah, or just sort of all of these questions whirling around, Trevor, about the just, you know, lots of these different um, things that have, have come up about. We have looked at different rates. The rates. We have, we have looked at different structures and different rates. Yeah, so I think I just want to make sure that we're clear when we come out of next week that, you know, that you've looked at those and that's not something that you're considering. That you've looked it's at this at and that's right. not, some, or right, exactly, not at the moment. Or maybe it's something that we, we want to look at in the future when look we're at looking EDUs. at, you know, the stuff. The EDUs so, are something that, you know, I have somewhat of an understanding, but not complete enough understanding to say next week that's something we can right. do. Right, no, but no. But I think that's right. something we should definitely investigate. Mm -hmm. Over the next year, yeah. Uh, and, you know, there's other things that, you know, came to light when I was looking at this is, for some reason, we can't have private wells in town. 
can't drill new wells, which doesn't make any sense to me. That doesn't make well, sense because, well, the, because you know, just put one in for their irrigation. Um, if you're going to use it for outside irrigation, irrigation, it's, it's, it's there's fine. no um, private wells allowed in the downtown area because the wells are contaminated. The town wells are contaminated. Yeah, but I'm and not so saying it's for, that for the consumption. I'm just saying for watering lawns and things like oh, that. Oh yeah, no, you because can. and evidently, it, well, you know, talking with in the. Uh, Building commissioner's office it says, "No, you can't sink one." Well, why did why did they allow Dumont then? I don't know. It well, just that was just put in because you know it's simple, especially in this area with the sand that we have. Just simple, drop a well point and use it for irrigation of your lawns. Mm -hmm. um, I I I think we revisited that as long as it was stipulated that it, it was just exterior, just for landscaping only and no consumption mm -hmm. because. Yeah. We cannot um, test it. It cannot be tested on a regular basis, and, and it's assumed that the same mm -hmm. water is contaminated. Yeah, the water district used to run the well points down on Sugarloaf Street. And the, oh, the other thing them, is the other thing is yeah, but the, on it. right. But the other thing is that on your vegetables, if people are going to do it for their vegetable garden and they're consuming it, so. The, the reason why Dumont was approved is because they were doing it for their lawn only. There's well, no can a resident do that for their lawn only? I, 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 I guess I, I mean, the, the problem with that is that, Trevor, are someone going to police that and say you're not going to use it on your vegetables? Well, and, I don't, who's and here again, police using Dumont? it on the vegetables is not that critical because compared to what between the seven and the malathion and everything else they put on their vegetables when they're growing them, the, that one, you know, one billionth part you had of Timic to start this. We have is, spaghetti dinner coming. Yeah. I know. I'm just saying. So, but but this is exactly this is illuminating exactly what my what I'm sort of saying is yeah. that there's a lot of confusion over some of the sewer commission's policies and procedures. And I just I'm well, not. That's I don't. A board of health I don't. Procedure and because and the maybe water is contaminated. and maybe that's a board. But I, I'm just saying. So again, over what maybe even is your roles and it responsibilities? Needs be, it needs to be so, more of a drawn out. Uh, maybe a weekend discussion. I, I just would like to um, just quick. have, yeah, I just want to make sure that at least, you know, you do your sewer rate setting, and I'm not trying to make that a, a, a cumbersome event, but you don't, you, can, you don't, um, get together often as the sewer commissioners except when you're talking directly about a project and oftentimes when you're getting then you're getting inundated with questions that aren't really about the project they're about financing the sewer about mm -hmm. financing the the infrastructure the treatment plants the you know and the use the maintenance all of that so I do think there's some relativity in having some of this discussion around your sewer rate hearing and and maybe even just setting another here another meeting another in the future to the say future, these things right these things we can't get to like tonight we're not going to study the units tonight but we do think that has some I think merit, it has merit and what about. are the next steps for that and then let's mm -hmm. set that out so people don't feel like you're just like going like this to yeah. their concerns yeah. and requests it's, you know obviously a lot of the things that we just talked about are really not things that we're going to be able to talk about next week Right. But those are things that we, we've we got to just, come out and say, these are the things we're going to be investigating within the next calendar year mm -hmm. to try to get everything squared around. Exactly. Right. That would be great. Okay. Yes. So, that's what I'd like to do. So we'll put that on sort of your sewer commission agenda yeah. for next week along with your rate setting. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank sure. you. Oh, can we approve the minutes of uh, October 26, 2000 and, or 24. 24th, was it? Yeah, yeah October birthday. 24th, 2018. I, I looked at those. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm fine I with think them. they look okay. Yeah, they I look just fine don't to remember, me. actually. Yep. Really. I actually do. I read them all, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. remember oh, that? Yeah. Okay. Good. I mean, all right. it seems so, like they're okay. Mm -hmm. Take a motion to approve. I'll, I'll approve those minutes. And uh, the second, any further discussion? No? Two. Abstain. Abstain. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. So, um, okay. So we're good to go. 
Um, you do have an exec session scheduled, and if you have time, um, what time do you I have don't, to go? No, I have to be, we're there, You're we're supposed 10 to be there minutes five? late. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought you'd be there 5.30. Nope. Okay, all nope. right. Well, I, um, I, if we could just put those on next time, I do have some updates for that, but okay. um, we could put Why those on for that? next or week. Or unless you want to come back, no? Um, well, I think it'd be the only enough. other thing is where we're supposed to sign uh, contract for John. Well... Had well, you asked me to do some camera so I haven't quite gone through it, but almost. Yeah. I'm like three quarters of the way through. Okay, we'll do okay. it next week. Right. Yeah, next for next fiscal next week. year. And it's not correct. Currently. Yeah. Oh, you know. It's fine. Motion to adjourn. I make that motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.